This is pretty much exactly what just happened. All right, this is song Wands Mall. San Juan's Mall. There we go. Republicans. <laughs> it's Banana Republic. Republicans. We're going to go to H&M Democrats. Yeah. All right, guys. So fun oh, fact. Somebody in the back doesn't have it on. Yeah, I'm trying to put it on. It's so hard. Fun yeah. fact. Toyota Corollas beep even when the backseat drivers don't have their seatbelt on. So we basically just got to a place where we're going to canoe to a lagoon where our hands are going to pretty much glow in the water uh, because of the organisms in the water and where we're located. So is it true that there's only two spots in the world where you can see this? Uh, uh, only three places in the, uh, in the whole world. You can see it all year round. All year round. All year oh, round. Okay, okay. In some places, let's see California, where in the hottest time, you can see some maybe couple of weeks or months, you can see by the Yeah, but this one's all year all round. All year you round. Can see it. Like, and what exactly are we seeing? I'm you're seeing the bioluminescence. The water, yeah, it's like a microscopic organism glow in the nighttime. Wow. Yeah, like a glow stick. Like a glow stick, see, but yeah, it's but, from uh, the water. Yeah, exactly. Very small, like, microscopic. Wow. Yeah, millions and millions of the ones you want. It's very, very cool. It's yeah, like, so if you grab a bunch every, of them, it, every time you, up. Exactly. Every time you pass your hand, they glow in self-defense. Every oh. time you paddle, you want to see your paddle glowing. Wow. Let me show you a picture. This is one. It's, it's not going to be today like this because this is in the, when it's 100%. Every day is different. Nature, we're going to control it. But when it's the great, great conditions, this is the thing you want to see. Okay, so it's not going to look like this, but Pero similar to it would be similar to that. You see, every time you put your hands in the water, Wow. Okay. And now my papa's like halfway not about to go. So we booked for four people. Is there a way to get one for a solo? Is no, 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 no solo. But let's see, let's see right now. Because I got right now, how many people are in your family? Uh, I have four, but my papa's planning okay. on not going anymore. So. Okay, what's your question? If your papa no decides to not want to go, one of you going to pair with somebody else. Okay. Okay, okay. regardless, you want to go. Okay. Okay. You, you decide. Okay In the daytime, you can see where you're going. The nighttime, the most you can see is the kayak in front of you. You see an adventure, you're going to have a lot of fun. Okay? Uh, first of all, let me start with personal belongings, guys. You're going to get wet waist down. Double check your package, make sure you don't, uh, you don't got your car keys, cell phone, wallet, etc., because you're going to damage it or lose it. And as soon as you enter your kayak, you always come. You, first of all, you walk into your kayaks, you out to your knee, depends how, it's, how deep it is. And then as soon as you enter your kayak, you always want to see water inside your kayaks. Okay, because all these kayak got scoops. Uh, just in case, we're catching out you flip over. When you flip your kayak back, the water has to come out. It's different than a canoe. Canoes don't got scoops, okay? Así que, that's why you always want to be wet waist down. How you doing, guys? Uh, come to this side. Do like a semicircle right here. Nobody behind nobody. Thank you so much. Uh, but yes, double check your pocket. Make sure you don't got your car keys, cell phone, or water because you can do that. Make sure you don't a uh, cell phone, you bring your cell phone in your own risk, okay? Uh, I always recommend it to put in like, like a pouch, the, the cell, if you want to bring it with you. Uh, then, uh, you're going to have an amazing, well, let me see, amazing sunset, okay? A lot of colors, amazing, the second oldest lighthouse, it's a beautiful place, big lagoon. 
The only thing we ask you, the soon as it gets dark, you're not allowed to use your flash, okay? It's prohibited. It got laws. It got some rules. You have to protect that. Everything. Take two set of pictures. One regular smiley picture and one crazy picture. And that crazy picture, whatever you want to do. Just time to shine. All right? Uh, I got my, uh, my truck open. Anything you want to leave behind, uh, I take full responsibility. I never go inside the water. By the way, I'm one of the owners, just in case. Uh, the truck is already open. If you want to bring your book back, it has to be on top of you. All right? I don't allow nothing in the bungees because the, all the bungees for my life system. I see you don't get lost, you want to know who you want to follow. If you want to bring it with you, like I say, it has to be on top of you. The rest, you can put it inside the truck. I got some things for your car teachers in case. All right, this is the right time. Thank you so much. And right now, your Eric is waiting. Anything you want to leave behind, this is the right time. I know. As soon as you finish, if you want to bring it out, you can clip in your jacket. If not, you don't want to lose it. Okay. Are you going to take your phone? Oh, There's a lot going on. Yes, I'm going to take it. Also, uh, excuse me, everyone. I see people with reading glasses. Protect them in the channel. Okay, channel, very narrow channel. In the, dark, in the nighttime, you go to put close to one side, protect them because you got some branches. Yeah. It's the only pair for inside your jacket in the channel. As soon as you get to Laguna Grande, you're going to be in a big lagoon next to no trees, next to nobody, you can put it on. Okay, it's the only for one pair, all right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, Lord, so here we go, we're at the lagoon. Uh, we're gonna go see some glowing water right now, pretty much. One of the three places in the world, very rare occasion. Um, and we're gonna go canoeing now. We did run into a problem. Papa did check it out. So Papa, Papa did not want to go, and now Nana needs somebody to go with. Now I believe that since we only have three people, I believe he's gonna put one of his workers to go uh, with one of us. I think I should go with Nana so that one of the workers goes with you, so that you're able to canoe like like at your leisure because he's a professional. I have canoed several times. In okay, life. so okay. okay, so I want to go with Nana so I'm able to push That's most fine. of the right. most of the canoe. I don't know what you want. Yeah, but I would rather go with him. Uh, if he puts you with one of his workers with their experience, I would rather go with him. Okay. You guys go. Okay, so Nana vetoes that. All right, let's go talk to him. Now. I'd rather go with one with, of the, with the worker? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we voted, and I think, my is my grandmother going to be able to go with one of your guys? No, right now, because right now, because the family broke, uh, you have to, she have to bear with somebody else or the group. Because right now, how about 19 or, or this group? It's a party of five people. They're going to be paired with somebody else. Okay. Okay. Okay, regardless, so you're going to be, be together. One of your guys, no, though. not going to be one oh. of my guys, but regardless, you're going to be four guys in the water. And worst case, you, uh, we see you and you not got the right communication, we can tell you right away. All right, okay. from here all the way to Laguna Grande, coming like back. Yeah, so you'd rather be with me than with somebody <laughs> regular. Okay. All right, so Nana's forced to be with me. So now here we go. We got <laughs> Nana's forced to be with me. All right, I got to put my wallet away. So, so, so I got to be with Nana. All right, I'm going to have to take care of Nana, guys. This is crazy. If we can't make it, they tow us. So we just might get towed, okay? If we can't make it. So like I said, if you guys succeed in synchronizing, then you might actually go in a straight line. You might. If you fail to do this, wow. uh, I'm a negative person. I like my trees. And then if I hit if I see you hit two trees, I'm not gonna give you a third strike. I'm going to go to your boat, and at that point, it's, it's no longer optional. It's, no, it's non negotiable. For your safety, I will tell you. Okay? If you see a guy pulling up to your boat, don't argue with him. Let the man do his job. Okay? This is for your own safety and for the safety of the, the 10 different companies that are going to be sharing water. 
you know how irresponsible it will be for us to let you do? But all those people are trying to get across, and you're crashing with all of them. And that's why we take our job very serious, okay? Thank you. Yeah. So, first thing you need to do is anticipate. If you see the people in front of you are stopping, slow down. Stop paddling. Alright? If you see you're about to collide into them, then what you want to do is, you want to go ahead and drag your paddle. Alright, note, when you drag your paddle in the water, the kayak will tilt in whatever direction you're dragging the paddle in. Okay? So, if you want to avoid doing a 180, then you drag paddle in both sides. Are you, you're putting my tracker on, right? <laughs> That's my tracker. Oh, man. Oh, man, guys. Are you nervous? Okay, nice. I'm not nervous. I'm ready. Okay, why don't you explain to us exactly what this is? I don't know how to say the word. It's like the, the fluorescent lights under the, the ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. I think it's Atlantic. No, we're not in the Atlantic. I don't know where we're at. I don't know. But, I mean, from what I understand, this is like a full trip, a full kayak. It's almost like the northern, um, northern lights. Yeah, I pretty believe. much. I mean, um... Pretty much, I mean, I showed you guys already a visual of what the water is supposed to look like. Um, I guess this is a tour. We're with a bunch of people. Um, we booked it for Nana and Papa, but both of them chickened out. You guys are going to watch this. and, and know, Don't give them a hard time, now. No, don't give them a hard time because they're, you know, it is a, it is a big workout. Um, so I guess, yeah, I guess we're just gonna go kayaking, go see some glow in the dark water pretty much. And, and a beautiful sunset. And also. a beautiful sunset. I mean, I don't really know. Mom kind of signed up for this. Um, but remember guys, this is all about like showing you guys Puerto Rico and um, family time and family time and taking advantage of like the time that you have on this earth. Um, and it might seem like a lot of time, but it goes by quick guys. So you want to make the most of it. Um, and again, again, I, I know I, I want to say this all the time, but I'm happy you guys are coming along with us. All right, so it's only been about like five minutes into the tour and we already went off track because I don't even know. I, I don't know how to, I don't really know how to canoe. So we're getting towed in guys. It'd be a lot easier to do your, do the navigation with you anyways. So chill, mom, chill. That's a word. Chill out. You're, 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 out you're, you're off beat with him. There you go, let him tell us. Let him tell us, mom. Let him yeah, we got VIP now. There it is. The special treatment. Yeah, special treatment, Mom. This is actually a good thing. So here we are. We're in a river. I feel like I'm going to be battling mosquitoes. Wow. So this is all the hurricane. Jeez. That's all the hurricane. So is this the most recent hurricane? This was Maria. Okay. So this is beyond crazy. We can barely even see in front of us. It's literally dark and we're literally in a river. It's what? A rib mango? A mangrove. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it kind of looks like a huge tree with vines. And guys, we're literally in a freaking river. If I didn't have this flash on right now, we barely would be able to see what's in front of us. I guess it's like a mosquito buffet out here. And we're getting towed. Mom, how you doing? How you doing, Mom? Mom's doing all right. Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're filming right now. Hands in the water. Okay, so you guys can't see it obviously because it's dark outside, but just picture a glowing hand similar to the picture he showed us. There you 
Laguna Grande. Laguna Grande. It's it stands for what? Big Lagoon. And this is this is where all the northern lights are. It's not the northern lights, right? No. No. Oh, that was our fish jumping. No, it's a. Wow, guys, that's my hand in the water, literally. You're wondering why I'm not what? Helping you do what? I'm filming for the channel. I'm trying to understand. We gotta have a game plan, Mom. We have to go where it's dark so we can see the light that I'm trying to see. What light? What are you talking about? So mom alleges is convinced that there's like some random northern lights or something that we're going to be able to see in the dark. But really, she doesn't realize it's just the water. It's fluorescent water. No, explain it to the whole viewers. I'm throwing this on, mom, I swear. Huh? Okay. All right, so we're going to take this light off so we can see the water. Um... As you can see, this is Mama Legends, guys. This is just how she wants to do something. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll turn the camera off, I guess, to take her wherever she wants to go. But um, this is pretty much what's going on, guys. I mean, I'm just on this canoe and. Um, it's a kayak. Uh, yeah, I'm on this kayak and uh, we're gonna go see more glow, glow water. We're gonna see our hands glow more. We were lost without you, man. I'll tell you that, man. <laughs> Yeah, mom, we've been seeing it. I'm gonna turn my light off so you can see it again. I'm sorry about that, guys. I don't know if you heard my mother complaining, but she still hasn't realized that I am a full-time YouTuber. It's okay. Moms are the way they are. Overall, let me clean this camera. Overall, the experience was absolutely crazy. I mean, overall, uh, you're in pitch black conditions. I mean, you can't see what's in front of you. Um, you're in a canoe. Um, the cool thing about it is the water is sparkly. You just picture like a, like disco water, just glitter in, in the water pretty much. Um, your hand glows and you occasionally see that big fish that's glowing in the water. It's a pretty cool experience, but overall guys, I probably got about 20,000 uh, uh, mosquito bites. Um, uh, it was really lengthy, really long. Um, uh, but yeah, guys, I mean, if, if nature's your thing, I definitely would recommend it. Um, if canoeing's your thing, I definitely would recommend it. But that's that's pretty much my experience, guys. Very long tour. They talk a lot about the history of the lagoon. It's cool, but I can, again, I highly recommend sweatpants and long sleeves. Uh, hi, my name is Gerald Santiago Guzman. Well, they call me Jerry Masucci from the Bronx. And Macron, so I don't have to say the other word. But Jesus is real, and he told me I'm gonna be the next Fania All Star. You ever heard of the Fania All Star? Mm. That was the size of the best in the world. So I'm trying to make it go come back. It, it was a dream that I had, and I play in the band. I sing. I do a little bit of everything. Imbale, bongose, conga. It takes time, and my phone number is. 77 410 3785 but in case i don't pick that one up my social okay i'm gonna leave my phone number in but i'm not gonna let him say his social guys i just can't do that 2520 thank you dude this is like literally the scenario here we got like they're like everywhere man i'm trying to find more but like yes yeah, there's one right here tons of mosquito bites guys
you're so how would you like how would you describe it then i mean what would you just how would you describe the drive literally very scary um other than that so people can understand why it's scary very windy the roads are small nobody goes slow very narrow feels like you're gonna fall off if you're not careful and you feel like you're going in a circle. You're just winding and winding and your stomach is all turned and you feel like you're gonna throw up everywhere in your car. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Gosh, that's a pretty, oh. pretty serious description. You told man. me to be descriptive. This, 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 is, this is crazy. Like that semi, how's that semi gonna get down there? <laughs> Yeah, how did that semi get up there? There's your grandma. Jeez. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here. Oh my god. Nice. Here we go. See everything. We're all here. We're all gonna be oh, here. Oh, am I gonna have to reverse in here? No, oh. just go straight in. I'm your go good. straight in where? Like you just pull in. Mom, this is Puerto Rico now. I can't believe all these cars got here. There goes Natalia right there. Where? Right there. This the is all this. Oh, oldest. that's the one that we went to hit there. His yeah, house last time. And, and he was so. My old. oldest uncle. Right there. There he is. He's a living legend. Oh, there's a Wella. You know that? Yeah. There's a Wella. What's up? I can't believe Teresa's driving. I can't believe my nerves are like this right now. I cannot believe Teresa's driving. I can't driving. believe I did I it either. Believe. I said, I, you know what I said? I said, Andrew, I, um, Teresa's going to be screaming because you won't like the hills. It was <laughs> awful. It was awful. It is. It is. <laughs> All right, Abuela. So how old's Natalia? How, how old? 76. 76 is Natalia. That's your, that's your only brother. Look at the tias and stuff. Everybody's over here. Hello, hello. Oh, I see other titis. How are you? I love you. Wow, good to see you. Good to see you. It's been so long. How are you? How are you? You were driving. No, no, no. I had to, I had to upload my video. Yeah. So this is about, what's up? How are you? Well, you were talking. How are you? Your hair. Look at your hair. It looks great. So, so this is Thea number one. This is a cousin. This is another cousin. I'm recording right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm recording everybody. So I want to make sure everybody sees everything. This is, this is my Hello, how you doing? Great to meet you. Great to meet you. She was the one. Thank you. <laughs> we needed it. We need it here. My hair. Well, I brought all the two things of cake and cookies and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, this is awesome. What could you tell us? Where are we at? What are we celebrating? What could you tell the world right now? Andrew, how you doing? Great to meet you. Great to meet you, John. I heard a lot about you. Yeah. He's my little brother. I heard a lot about you as well. Okay. Thank you so much. All good things. Though. All good things. My thing with you. Jackson. Any anything anything from this family is all good. That was very good to meet you, man. That, I like that shirt. That shirt looks fantastic. There's a lot of people. Yeah, we got a while left. We all. <laughs> she, he speaks English. She speaks English. That's that's that's, that's grandma. That, that's grandma. She's like, there's so many people here that speak English. But most of the Pia, um, they understand English. They understand. Yeah. English. It's hard sometimes to talk, but they yeah. can understand. I gotta speak Spanish. That's my. That's my. That's that comes down on me. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying. I try. Yeah, I try. Well, it was nice to see you. Yeah, it's great to meet you, man. Great to meet you, brother.
Happy. Happy. Yeah, Thorn. Hello, how you doing? Hey, good to meet you, man. Me good too. to meet Thank you, man. You. you have an awesome mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a That's my father. You don't remember him? Oh, yeah. Well, you got your glasses on, man. What's up with you? I like, now I look, yeah. you look I mean, familiar you look now. Your glasses, you look like the Terminator, bro. <laughs> no hair. <laughs> oh, man. You look like you look like Terminator with those glasses, man. How are you doing? Very well. There are a lot of changes since last season, you know. I'm a YouTuber now. I got a YouTube channel. And, um, and I, I gained about like 30 pounds. And, yeah, uh, that's obvious. And, uh, and that's it. That's it. Did you find your way up right here? Well, oh, I, I kind of took a little nap. My, my mom got us here, though. Speaking on that 30-pound thing, guys, I probably am going to go on a journey to lose that 30 pounds here soon. My mom got us here, so it was all good. Ay, Dios mío, qué lindo, qué lindo. This is so amazing right here to see you guys again. I told, I told Noel, I was like, man, it's time you guys all see each other so under different conditions. It's not like a funeral or nothing. It's a party. You know? It's happy, happy time. Yeah. You know? That's that was what was important. No reconocí a papi. Por la gafa. Ah, okay. Y está viejo. Oh, man, he's got glasses. <laughs> What's up, cuz? How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Forty-eight total. Florida, how long has it been since the last hurricane? Um, that was in September. And uh, 19, 20, yeah, so it's, it's been like about a month, and and people still in the mountains don't have electricity, and that's why they're protesting as well. Oh my gosh. Because supposedly crazy. they had everything ready. That it was not going to happen like Hurricane Maria where we were like six months without it. Right, but this time they had everything ready. But it's, so, but it's still hit and they don't got electricity and nobody's working to do anything about it or what? They are, but since they, they promised and they had assured us that they did have, you know, everything ready that the hurricane would hit. Yeah. They wouldn't stay without electricity. And they staying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's good to document too. Yeah. I didn't know that. I introduce everybody right now. Well, how many sisters are actually here? Six. Six sisters here, and then one brother, right? Yes. One brother. One brother, and the brother is Natalio, and that's his birthday. Yes. Okay. Okay. And okay. Shelly, We're gonna get everybody's names down the here in a minute. That, the one that had the white. Top. Mm -hmm. She's the oldest, and then me, and then. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The white top. And then Julia. Okay. Hello. 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 Hi, how are you? Hi. She's my niece. Hi. No, I'm just kidding. Good to meet you. <laughs> oh, that's his wife, right? Yes. I think okay. I remember you from last time. Yes, you are Mercy's cousin, right? Um, we have a cousin in, in Somehow we, we figured out, yeah. yeah, we knew each other from Carrion. Yes, like that's my dad's side of the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh my God. How are you? Oh, no, no, we'll hang out. I haven't sit in an hour. Nice fan cam. Yeah, it's a nice, nice fan. Is it black or black? This hat, this hat, this this had a real, real nice chain, but I took it, um, I took it away. That's for my phone. My phone doesn't have any charge anyway. No charge on your phone. 
No, because I'm This is the youngest, Thea Gladys. Okay, so pretty much they told me that all of the houses are made from cement. And since the pandemic, the price of cement rose. So another thing I learned as well is a lot of these houses are hereditary. So it makes it very difficult to sell any of these houses uh, due to the, the fact that there's not many documents and tax forms on these properties because they're inherited by, uh, you know, your grandfather and father. Um, so yeah, that's, that makes it pretty interesting. So majority of these houses are just all families. Um, and they're made all about out of cement. That's how you make a house out here is cement and no basements. What's his name? We call him Mango. That's Mango. his nickname, Mango. Mango. He builds yeah. the best houses yeah, in all of Puerto he, Rico right he there. You're looking yeah. at the best carpenter yeah, in yeah. all of Puerto Rico. Mango. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, uh, these uh, houses go up. It yeah. takes like a week to build a house if you do it consistently in it. It takes, uh, it depends what the, the size of the house, you know. It right. might take six What's months, up, you know. It depends, you know, yeah. how, how big it is, you know. Yeah. But uh, he, he can build it from the bottom to the top, you know. He, he he, he He's the man. You, he gives you the key. You know? Yeah, he gives you the keys yeah. done. Yeah. yeah, it's done, yeah. Wow. And you're married to the youngest. I'm married to the youngest. Gladys. Yeah, Gladys. Gladys is the youngest, Gladys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My first marriage, I, I used to be ma married to the oldest of my first marriage. Yes. Or, or the woman. The, 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 okay, the, the the mother of my sons, she, she is the oldest of, of, the, of, the, of the daughters, of all the daughters. What's her name? Uh, her name is Carmen. But that was that. That's the mother of my of my kids. Oh, a different family. Oh, okay. okay yeah, okay, got you, got you, yeah, got you, got you, got you. Got you. And, and now, now with Gladys, you know, she's, she's, she's the, the youngest. youngest. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's a good. That's that, an that, upgrade. That, that was that's a, an upgrade. That that's an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, the two sisters. The one in the blue is what? She's she's Mango's wife. Mango's wife. Yes. Yeah. He, he's her son, Mango's son, he, the, the, the guy okay. that just went by. Okay, and Mango's she's the son. oldest of the sisters, right? No, no, who's uh, the oldest? C Celine, Celine, the, the one with the oh, white. Okay, the Celine, white, the white that's Titi Celine, and then right next to her. That, that's uh, Ma Maria. Maria, yeah. And then Julia is all the way to the left of her. I think Sela and Celine is the oldest. Julia is one of the oldest. I think she follows Celine. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm trying to get everybody's names down packed right now. That's mm -hmm. that's my number one thing is to get everybody's names down packed. Mm -hmm. So you, you go to, you go you still gonna, go to school to the college? No, I graduated. I got to love Carmelo. So you say hi to him because he's in the Avisa. nursing home. Ya está grabando mango. Para que saluda Carmelo. Carmelo, saludo. Aquí estamos celebrando el cumpleaños de Natalia, a ver si dándonos la cervecita y la caña <laughs> y la caña. Show the caña, ahí está. Caña de tamarindo. Right there. I know. I know. All right, that's from Mongo, Grandpa. That's from Mongo. And we're in Puerto Rico. Hi, Carmelo Vencion. ¿Cómo está? I'm hanging out here with your grandson. Finally came here. I haven't drank caña yet, but I'll taste it later. See ya. I don't know. Catch you,
said what? My grandfather used to make that drink and he would mix it all up and then make a hole, bury it, so it would ferment, right? Yeah. And, then, what, and, and what's it called? Uh, Fontaña. Puerto Rican homemade moonshine, guys. I mean, I, honestly, it really doesn't get more to the roots and and authentic than this, guys. This is literally um, a great uncle uh, birthday party in the mountains. Wait, okay, so wait. You, you know how to do it. Can you confirm what that's called? Caña. So, caña sugar cane. Fermented. Yeah. My Dad and dad and grandpa. Hola. Oh yeah, he wants to see. Say dad and grandpa. Hey, what's up? It's a video, it's a video. Oh, it's a video. Oh, hey, say something to the Mira, Carmelo, ya pronto te veo. Sí, tío, bendición, te amo. Say it again, I'm sorry. But start at the top. Well, you, we got a Taina here representing the natives from Puerto Rico. Then we got the star and this blue line that divides the, the face with the hibiscus. And that has to do more with the flag, the Puerto Rican flag. The hibiscus is a native flower from a tree. And then we got the island. Puerto Rico island with the palm trees and the houses. And then the inside, that's, that's Tapella, right? Yeah. And then what's 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 down there? Is that another Taina or what? Nah, no, we got there. We got the Virgin Mary. Virgin Mary. I should have known that. Virgin Mary. There you go. We got the crown, twelve star tw crown. Virgin wow. Mary. Those are nice, cause those are nice. All right, we got some cows, guys. I gotta show you guys these Puerto Rican cows. We're in the country right now. Check these guys out. Look at them looking at me. Look at them looking at me. Oh, look, they're running away. They're running away. What's up? What's up? He's not scared. Wow. There's a whole herd of wild cows. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm never going to be closer to a herd of wild cows. Look at these cows. Oh, they're all walking away. He's not scared though. He's got all the horns. Okay, we gotta name them. Um, I like the first one, the one that's not scared. He's the leader. We'll call him Mufasa. Oh, right there, we'll call him Simba. That right there, that'll be Gandalf. Um, the two back there, that's Rudy and Theo. Um, those four over there, that's Don, Russ, Anderson, and Jeff. And then that guy over there, we'll name him Prince. Man, check these guys out. I wonder if I can pet them. I, I feel like he would injure me though, and I, that would be it for me, guys. These cows owned? I don't think, I think these are wild cows. 
I'm pretty sure these are wild cows. Uh huh. Barb barb wire. Like this. Like this over here. My father said, don't let the cow go to the other side. Like from there to here. Over the barbed wire. Over. Okay. And I stood up like, like this, and one of the horns went this way, and the other horn went this way, and his head pushed me in between the wire. Oh. oh. Yes, I was cut and bleeding. Oh my goodness. On and your back? On my leg. Well, it seems like you're a legend. And then we down. Mom, uh, no, 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 no. All right. I need help. All right, all right, I need help, son. <laughs> Somebody owns these cows, Nana? They're not, they're not here. Mira, mira. Look at the one that's watching you. <laughs> Who owns Juanita these cows? Who's watching you? Andrew. Of course, the, the, the person in the house is not right there. This is, is a big field. Look at that one, Andrew. It's looking this way. Like, what's going on? I don't know. I think they might be wild, Oella. <laughs> Does it? I know that. Okay. We used to take, we used to take our cows and our horses all the way to two or three acres away from the house. That's so the, that, so the house that owns these, it's not around here. And it's yeah. probably over there. Usually, yeah. Yes. There's a house over there. The house is over here. Look. Look, Andrew. Look at this house. Uh, that's crazy, man. That's a big cow, man. Mira, Juanita. You are. You are oh holy cow. Goodness. That's a big cow. Oh, my God. You want holy your picture taken? Cow. You want your picture taken? That is a big cow. Oh, oh his tongue's going to come out. <laughs> that's a big cow. Right. Holy cow. Right, we'll take a picture of you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Nana, be careful, Nana. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful, Nana. Be careful, Nina, they, can... they can jump the fence. He's hanging out. He's hanging out. Wow. Not, not really. Look at this cow, man. He's so close. He's eating. <laughs> is this a bull? This is a bull. Uh -oh. Let's hope you don't ram me. Come on, Mr. Kyle. Should I pet them? They don't Okay, okay, okay. That's a really nice cow, Nana. He's wagging his tail. He's having a great time, Nana. Cow. Uh oh. Alright, I'm gonna back up. What is he helping? No, don't look this way. Vete, vete, vete I don't know, guys. This is one of those decisions where it's like, do you stay and pet the cow or do you listen to your grandmother? Ugh. You're going to have to stay tuned. Will Guapo pet the cow and get hurt? Or will his ear get pulled off by his grandmother for not listening? Stay tuned till tomorrow on Storage Legends.